So today's message is going to be similar to what we heard Sunday. It's going to be called, and yet different, but it's going to be called A Call to Fear the Lord. And I want to start out, uh, I'll be reading from the New King James Version, but uh, I'm reading Hosea 2. Hosea? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Verses 16 to 23. Hosea 2? Yep. Yes, sir. Now, uh, the reason I'm starting this scripture, the Lord gave me a burden today concerning my generation, Generation Z. And uh, it says, And it shall be in that day, says the Lord, that you will call me my husband and no longer call me my master. For I will take from her mouth the many names of the balls, or bales, as we would say it, and they shall be remembered by their name no more. In that day I will make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field, with the birds of the air, and with creeping things of the ground. Bow and sword of battle I will shudder from the earth to make them lie down safely. I will betroth you to me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and justice in loving kindness and mercy. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. It shall come to pass in that day that I will answer, says the Lord. I will answer the heavens, and they shall answer the earth. The earth shall answer with grain, with new wine, and with oil. They shall answer Jezreel. Then I will sow her for myself in the earth, and I will have mercy on her who had not obtained mercy. Then I will say to those who were not my people, You are my people, and they shall say, You are my God. Now, um, the Lord had... And pages and in the Nostradamus said, I'm Hussein Armageddon, and I'm going off of the iBooks, pages 125 to 127. Uh, this was actually meant for the Generation X, because that's what that's the generation at the time. But the, I, heard, I felt like the Lord was highlighting this part as he, it says, I was in the bookstore the other day, and two teenage girls were talking about the books they had on witchcraft. The great Father God wants to say a few words to you. I have created you for me. You feel that no one understands what you are going through. I, the Lord, knows every small detail about you. I know about the first blemish that appeared on your face. I was there on your first date, but do not be afraid because I am for you and not against you. Since you can remember, all you ever heard about me was in a negative vein. But know this, I am the one you have been searching for. Your drinking and drugging and witchcraft is a search for me. You think that sex will fill the space in your heart that I have made for myself. I can understand your confusion. Adults say one thing and do another. There is a war going on within your mind, and this warfare is created by the devil. His desire is to ruin your life and to keep you from me. But if you have an ear to hear my voice, listen. I will set you in a place where none can hurt you. I will walk and talk with thee forever. I will give you much wisdom and show you the truth that you seek after. I will answer your prayers. I will put you in a mighty place, and you shall lead others to me in the warfare, even though at times is great. Know this, that I have overcome the enemy, and we shall prevail. I will send you forth as soldiers, mighty warriors of the living God. The enemy thinks that he is winning, but I, the Lord, have not sounded the trumpet to call my warriors to battle. Ye are the Lord's Warriors, and that's the end of that uh, that section. But I want to start out a little bit different before I pray for the message. Uh, Pastor Mickey, will you pray for Gen X? Generation X. Yes. Sure. 
Father, right now, Lord, I hold them up to you, dear God. Lord, a long time ago, you told me that X marked the spot. They was chosen for your service because you chose them, Father God. So I, I, I pray, dear God, that, Lord, you would you would just uh, 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 bring that prayer to pass, bring that prophecy to pass, dear God, and that you would raise up that army of the living God, Father, Lord, and not only Generation uh, X, but all these other generations, Lord, that has followed, Father <laughs> And I ask this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 Father, I just thank you. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, right now. There's a synergy of the generations going to happen, Lord. That you are returning the fathers back to the son, the daughters and the sons and the, the children back to their parents, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, for Generation Z. You know, you, you spoke to me today that that generations X and Z are going to march hand in hand in combat in the army of the Lord. And we just thank you for it in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you. And if you felt that, will you pray in the Spirit? I thank you, Lord, for such a powerful, just the, the word of the Lord going forth tonight. Lord, that, Lord, you would anoint this, this teaching for each of us, Lord, prepare our hearts, Father God, but that also... Lord, you would you would get people's attention. You yes, would confirm Lord. your word with signs and wonders tonight, Father God. Yes, and we thank you for it in the mighty, mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Stir us up, Lord. Amen. 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 Now, our first verse, our official first verse, as I, as you could say, is Acts chapter five, verses one to eleven. It says, but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. And I'm reading from the King James Version. But Peter said, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? I want to Stop for a minute, and and because I feel like the the Lord is is, say, is saying that today, He's going to begin to judge those who are practicing sin, not struggling with sin, because I know a lot of us struggle with sin or have have our battles, but if but specifically those online, if you're practicing sin, and God's warned you and warned you and warned you time and time again. I implore you to repent because your time is short. In verse 4 it says, whilst it, whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thy power? In thine power? Thou, uh, why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And, uh, and Ananias, hearing these words, fell down. And gave up the ghost, and great fear came on all them that heard these things. And the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out, and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after, when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yea, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, unto her, How is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then fell she down straightway at his feet, and yielded up the ghost. And the young men came in, and found her dead, and, carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came upon all the church, and upon as many as heard these things. Now, this is another prophecy from the book. Uh, this one's on pages 132 to 134. Um, and it says, To the pastors, teachers, I mean, preachers, and teachers of God, listen to the word of the Lord. There is sin in my camp, and thou hast not sought me as thou knowest thou should. Thou hast not taught the word of the Lord that thou knowest to. 
Thou hast kept thy eye on the offering plate, and hast said in thy heart, If only I tell them good things, easy things, then more will come, and my offering will be bigger. And if I don't offend any, I myself will be popular, and who knows where it will end. Thou slothful, disobedient servant, did thou knowest if you bury thy talent, I will take from thee what thou thinkest thou hast? Dead preachers preaching dead sermons to dead people. Repent before I remove thy candlestick from thy place, and thy name be removed from the book of life, unless thou repent. The teachers of my word hear, hear the Lord thy God. Thou would teach us that I wink at sin, that I will not hold all accountable for their actions. But know this, I do hold all accountable, and thou that would teach the doctrines of Baal, be sure I will hold thee accountable unto me, saith God. Hear how terrible the sins are that thou winkest at. I sent my only begotten Son to die for thee, and to break the spirit of sin from thee, that thou would be bound, would not be bound by Satan. The sin issue has been resolved by my son's death, but ye seek to crucify him again, I mean, over and over and over again and again. Do not mock or tempt the Lord thy God. Repent and seek me, and I will restore thee to even a greater glory, and thou shalt teach my people. Here is the way of the Lord, walk ye in it. And to those that refuse to repent, ye are twice dead, doomed forever and ever, because thou hast not obeyed the voice of the Most High. Now, I want to give a little bit of my testimony. I myself, you know, I want to just say that in order to preach in this way, in order to teach in a way that, well, you know, I don't want to condemn anybody. I don't want to offend anybody. Um, you you have to remind yourself constantly of what you're doing. Like if you read the Word, you have to remind yourself of the filter that you have to read read it through. I you know I, I've been there, and that is not the Holy Spirit, folks. That is not the Holy Spirit. You know if you have to, you, you need to. I would encourage, and this is what I've been doing. I would encourage you to say, Lord, what's on your heart? What's on your heart? And and pray. Uh, pray about the sermons that you're putting out. And just let the Lord minister through you to, to your people. And another scripture, uh, Revelation chapter 3, verses 14 to 22. And unto, the, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because they, thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked? I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, uh, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that, he that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And that is the cry of the Lord in this hour. That we have got to either get hot or cold. And, and I know a lot of us in this room, uh, I know that we 
are, uh, you know, we are hot for the Lord. Amen. And uh, in Proverbs chapter 29, verses 25 to 27, The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment comes from the Lord. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. And then Proverbs uh, 8 verse 13 says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Can someone tell me what froward means? Froward. Froward. Froward? Yes. Hey, Google. No, I, I've got it. I oh. was just going to see if anyone knew. Oh, well, don't, don't throw no. them hard questions at us and then, then give us the answer. Go ahead. I was just, I was just getting participation. Um, this is in the American Heritage Dictionary from Wordnick. It's, it means stubbornly contrary and disobedient, obstinate, that's number one. Number two, not willing to yield or comply with what is required or is reasonable. Perverse, disobedient, peevish. Three, disobedient, contrary, unmanageable, difficult to deal with, with an evil disposition. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty strong. And the Lord is saying he hates this type of a mouth. He hates the forward, the rebellious, you know, th- this attitude of I can do what I want. Right. I can, you know, I'm an adult. No one can tell me what to do. Right. You know, um, this self-determination of, you know, you know, he hates that. If, if you know, if, this obstinance, if you will. He hates that. And our final scripture is found in Leviticus chapter 10. What is it again? Uh, the Leviticus. Huh? Leviticus. Leviticus okay. chapter 10, verses 1 through 3. Then Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, each took his censer and put fire in it, put incense in it, and offered profane fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them. So fire went out from the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. And Moses said to Aaron, This is what the Lord spoke, saying, "Those By those who come near me I must be regarded as holy, and before all the people I must be glorified. So Aaron held his peace. Now, I want to encourage everybody in here and online to just think for a minute and just let, let's ask ourselves, you know, I myself, you know, have been, I'm not here to put anyone down, but I'm here to challenge us. If we have pride in our hearts, if we have any form of obstinance or, or you know, the froward mouth, then Today's the day to to put it down. Amen? Amen. Amen. And also, <clears throat> those online, if you have not received Jesus Christ, let me just say it this way. If you would like to recommit your life to Christ, or you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is the day. Amen. And uh, also, and we're going to do the curse-breaking prayer. So, uh, if you would like to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit, um, then I would encourage you, push past all analyzing. Um, this It's a prayer language. Uh, can someone give a summary of what uh, praying in the Spirit is? It's praying in the heart of God. Yeah. yeah. Praying the will of God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We don't know what to pray for, but the Holy Spirit makes intercessions for us, uh, where we where we don't know what to pray for. He does He does it through us. Right. Yep. Yes, sir. I just wanted to, for those that didn't didn't know. Um, so, 
Pray this with authority. Say, Father, Father, I believe in my heart, I believe in my heart, and confess with my mouth, and confess with my mouth, that you raised Jesus from the dead. That you raised Jesus from the dead. I now call you my Lord and Savior. I now call you my Lord and Savior. And I forgot to say this before we get started, but uh, for those online, if you you know, that is what is required to be saved is believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And confess that that God raised him from the dead. Yeah. Um, say, forgive all of my sins. Forgive all of my sins. Even as I forgive those. Even as I forgive those. Who have sinned against me. Who have sinned against me. Satan. Satan. I bind you this day. I bind you this day. In the name. In the name. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. By the authority I have in Jesus Christ, by the authority I have in Jesus Christ, I rebuke and destroy, I rebuke and destroy the power, the power of every ancestral curse, of every ancestral curse directed against me. Directed against me. I break any and all vows, I break any and all vows, oaths, oaths, blood covenants, blood covenants, rituals and ceremonies, rituals and ceremonies. I renounce all sorcery, I renounce all sorcery, witchcraft, witchcraft, false gods, false gods, false religion, false religion, and all curses of death, and all, and all curses, curses of death, death destruction, 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 suicide, suicide, murder, murder, murder violence, 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 abandonment, abandonment, rejection, rejection, rejection perversion, perversion. perversion Infirmity and disease. Infirmity and disease. I declare this. I declare this. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In so doing. In so doing. I ask now. I ask now. That you would baptize me. That you would baptize me. In the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. And fire. And fire. Sealing our intimate relationship. Sealing our intimate relationship. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Father the Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You want to pray in agreement? Yes. Yes, God. 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 Lord, let your will be done in this city. Thank you, Father God, we just thank you that Bob Larson and other deliverance ministers are going to come to this city. That Lord, you're going to do, there's going to be a revival like never before. Amen. Father God, and we just thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hey, can you, can you? Hello, everyone, and thank you very much again for listening to this edition of the Design for Victory podcast in the uh, YouTube channel the video. And if you enjoyed this today, um, if this has impacted you in any way, I would encourage you to comment below or you can go to www.kingdomadvance, K-I-N-G-D-O-M-A-D-V-A-N-C-E dot F-A-M-I-L-Y dot B-L-O-G. Um, and go to the menu. And, sorry about the noise, the menu, go to the menu and hit About Us. And at the end of the, at the end of the page, we'll give you information where you can contact us. And also you can just text us or call us at one four zero five. 509-5337. Again, that's 1405-509-5337. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like or um uh, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed the podcast on your respective platform, you can hit the follow podcast uh, button. And also feel free to like and Answer the question where possible and share and rate the show. And 
Thank you all very much for listening to this. Uh, and also another uh, other announcements is, first of all, Pastor Judy will be ministering this Sunday, if you would like to stay tuned for that. And also, the Blind Exorcist podcast is on episode 11. If you would like to... If you binge watch other podcasts and would like to, to find others. And this is on YouTube, Spotify, TuneIn, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, JustinD.com, which is his website. And they've got TBE Newsletter um, and the Frontlines Newsletter. Frontlines newsletter is just spiritual warfare teaching, and TBE is the episode. And so, thank you all very much for listening. And I forgot to say this too. If you're a newcomer in the Lord, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I would encourage you to find a Bible-believing church. And... You know, because it's important to be in a vibrant community of believers. So, thank you all very much. See you Sunday, if not before. God bless.